Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 10 full tutorial series for absolute beginners. We are continuing to learn about reactive forms and in today's episode we will learn how to reset a reactive form. It's the same way that we learned how to do with template driven forms which is to use the reset method. We will learn about it in today's episode. Also we'll do some hands on on it. This is part 66 of the Angular 10 complete tutorial playlist. I have planned more than 100 tutorials for, uh, for you in this series uh, with detailed explanation and code examples. So make sure you check out all the videos in the playlist. Following are the topics which I've already covered in detail from ground zero from scratch to advanced topics. Make sure that you follow the complete playlist so that you learn and master Angular. During the course of this uh, tutorial series, if you have any doubts in any of the uh, episodes that I've covered on any of the topics, please do let me know in the comments section. I will be happy to help you. Today we are in the 66th episode. Today we are learning how to reset a reactive form. A quick note of introduction to our friends who are joining us new. Reactive forms is a way to create forms in Angular application. There are two types of forms that we can create in Angular template driven forms and reactive forms. When working with reactive forms, you will come across three important things that you will mostly use on a, on a, on a day to day basis if you are working with reactive forms. Form group, form control, form builder. So far I have covered that. In the next episode I will co also cover form arrays for you. To work with reactive forms, the most important thing is to include reactive forms module in your module in your app module if or in the following module wherever the components are. Angular internally maintains the state of information of the forms, which means that at given any point of time, you can exactly extract the state the form is in. I have covered this in detail in the previous episode, so make sure that you check out so that you learn about the form states and how to access that information. Like I told you, these are the three important things that you should remember. Form control, form group and form builder. Alright, so this is pretty straightforward and simple and easy. To reset any form, you'll use the method reset which is provided in the form. The syntax is simple. You will use the form instance and then call the reset method. Let me show you that in a hands on example now. Let's go to our um, editor. Okay, so th this is a form we are working with, which is we called it add loan types form. So if you want to create, let's create a new method and we'll say reset form. Right, so this is a method we'll call and we can put some kind of a link or a button or anything uh, just to invoke that particular method. So we'll say button, I'm going to use a click uh, event and I'm going to say reset form, right? So this is the way we will, this method will be called to reset. Now, and we'll add a note here and say reset form, right? Simple, nothing uh, complicated yet. Um, so we have a button, we have a click event, and we are saying call the reset form method, which is what um, will be called, right? So let me show you that in the application. So this is our application, just a simple, nothing, so this is our reactive form that we built. So when user fills some details, we have some validations that we added last time, if you remember. So now when I hit reset, it should get reset. So for that, what we'll do, we'll use the instance of the form and say dot reset, right? Simple, nothing complicated, nothing fancy. Just remember that whenever you do this method, the entire form will get reset to the initial values that you have set, right? So make sure that whatever you're doing, it will go to the initial state, okay? And it will clear the entire form, not just some fields. So fill in some details and hit reset and you see that the form is cleared, right? Any user input will be cleared because we are saying dot form dot reset, okay? That's the fastest way and you might want to use this whenever you, let's say a record is successfully added, you give a message and then reset the form, right? 
so there are many use cases that you can use reset um, functionality itself so go ahead give it a try start implementing with me implement this method get your hands dirty with code let me know if you have any issues thank you so much i'll keep this uh, short and quick today in the next episode we will learn about reactive forms how to track value changes in the form there will be times when you enter some data and you want some kind of updates to be captured and that's what we can uh, do with value changes that's what we are going to learn in the next episode so stay tuned for that join me in the next episode as well and keep continuing to like follow the series please do like share comment on the videos please do share them with your friends and colleagues thank you again for joining